Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about the definition of the derivative. In our discussion, we have mentioned that derivative is the slope of a tangent line. However, in this video, instead of determining the slope of a tangent line to a curve at a certain point, we will determine the derivative of functions in general. Technically, defining a derivative the derivative f prime of x sub 0 is a function at a number x is equal to x sub 0 is the value obtained in the following limit. f prime of x sub 0 is equal to the limit of f of x sub 0 plus delta x minus f of x sub 0 divided by delta x as delta x approaches 0. In general, since x is equal to x sub 0, we can say that f prime of x is equal to the limit of f of x plus delta x minus f of x divided by delta x as delta x approaches 0. This definition is sometimes called the limit definition of the derivative of a function. Remember that if y is equal to f of x, the derivative of f is commonly denoted by the following. f prime of x dx of f of x d over dx of f of x d over dx of y and dy over dx. These notations are commonly used to represent derivative. Let us now take some examples to apply the definition of the derivative presented earlier. Find the derivative of f of x equals 5x minus 1 with respect to x using the limit definition. To find the derivative of the given function f of x equals 5x minus 1, remember that the derivative of f of x, which is represented by f prime of x, is equal to the limit of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x as delta x approaches 0. Here, we just simply need to substitute 5x minus 1 to the given f of x here and to find f of x plus delta x, we will be substituting x plus delta x to the variable x on the given function. Thus, we will have 5 times x plus delta x minus 1 minus quantity 5x minus 1 divided by delta x as delta x approaches 0. Notice that from the formula, we have substituted x plus delta x to the variable x of the given function 5x minus 1. So we have 5 times x plus delta x minus 1. From here, we can now simplify the numerator by distributing 5 to x plus delta x. So we will have 5x plus 5 delta x and distribute negative 1 to the binomial 5x minus 1, giving us with negative 5x plus 1. On the numerator, notice that we can cancel 5x minus 5x and negative 1 plus 1, giving us with 5 delta x divided by delta x. Since we have a common factor delta x here, we can cancel it and we will have limit of 5 as delta x approaches 0. And remember that the limit of a constant number is the constant itself. Hence, the derivative of the function f of x equals 5x minus 1 is equal to 5. Let us take another example. Find the derivative of f of x equals x squared plus 3x 
with respect to x using the limit definition. Again, to find the derivative of a function, we will be using the formula f prime of x is equal to the limit of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x as delta x approaches zero. In here, we simply need to substitute x plus delta x to the variable x on the given function and substitute the function itself x squared plus 3x on f of x on this formula. It will now give us the following expression. x plus delta x quantity squared plus 3 quantity x plus delta x minus the function x squared plus 3x divided by delta x as delta x approaches 0. Simplifying the numerator by expanding x plus delta x quantity squared and multiplying 3 to the binomial x plus delta x and distributing negative to the binomial x squared plus 3x, we will have x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x quantity squared plus 3x plus 3 delta x minus x squared minus 3x all over delta x. Observing now the numerator, we can cancel here 3x minus 3x and x squared minus x squared giving us with 2x delta x plus delta x quantity squared plus 3 delta x. With these three terms here, notice that we have a common factor delta x. Therefore, we can factor out delta x and the trinomial will become 2x plus delta x plus 3. Since we have factored out the delta x as common factor, and notice that we can cancel delta x over delta x, so we will have now the limit of 2x plus delta x plus 3 as delta x approaches 0. In here, we can now substitute 0 to the delta x. So we will have 2x plus 0 plus 3 which will be equal to 2x plus 3. Therefore, the derivative of f of x equals x squared plus 3x is 2x plus 3. We observe from this example that the derivative of the function does not represent the actual value of the slope. However, this expression can give the slope of any tangent line to f of x equals x squared plus 3x at any given point in the domain of the function. In this case, we say that the derivative f prime of x serves as the slope indicator of tangent lines of the function f of x. Now, let us take this example. Evaluate f prime of negative 2 for the function f of x equals 1 minus 4x minus 3x squared. First, we need to find what is the derivative of the function f of x which will be determined by the formula limit of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x as delta x approaches 0. Just like what we did on the previous examples, we will be substituting x plus delta x on the variable x on the given function and also we will be substituting the entire function on f of x on this formula. It will give us 1 minus 4 times x plus delta x minus 3 times x plus delta x quantity squared minus 1 minus 4x minus 3x squared all over delta x. Looking at the numerator, we need to multiply 4 to the binomial x plus delta x. We need to expand x plus delta x quantity squared and distribute negative 3 on the resulting trinomial. 
and distribute negative 1 on the trinomial 1 minus 4x minus 3x squared. So our numerator will become 1 minus 4x minus 4 delta x minus 3x squared minus 6x delta x minus 3 times delta x quantity squared minus 1 plus 4x plus 3x squared all over delta x. From this numerator, notice that we can cancel 1 minus 1, negative 4x plus 4x, and negative 3x squared plus 3x squared. Thus, our numerator will become negative 4 delta x minus 6x delta x minus 3 quantity delta x squared divided by delta x. On the numerator, notice that we have again a common factor delta x. Thus, we can factor it out and our numerator will become delta x times negative 4 minus 6x minus 3 delta x all over delta x. Since we have factored out delta x and we have a delta x on the denominator, we can cancel it since it will become equal to 0. So we will have the limit of negative 4 minus 6x minus 3 delta x as delta x approaches 0. We can now apply the definition of limits by substituting 0 to the delta x. So this will become negative 4 minus 6x minus 3 times 0. Hence, the derivative of the given function is equal to negative 4 minus 6x. However, remember that we are evaluating f prime of negative 2. And what we have here is f prime of x. Therefore, to evaluate f prime of negative 2, we will be substituting negative 2 to the variable x of the resulting derivative. Thus, f prime of negative 2 will be equal to negative 4 minus 6 times negative 2. Negative 6 times negative 2 is equal to positive 12, so we will have negative 4 plus 12. And finally, the value of f prime of negative 2 is equal to 8. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For our next video, we will discuss about the differentiation rules. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next discussion.